Welcome to this video. Today we will talk about the loading capacity of a pile. First to talk about the estimation of pile capacity. The ultimate load carrying capacity QU is formed by load carrying capacity at the pile point. That's the QP. And the frictional resistance derived from the interface between soil and pile. That's the QS. We will explain in detail. First let's talk about the point bearing capacity QP first. The point bearing of piles is equal to the area of the pile tip. That's the AP. Multiple the unit point resistance. The small QP. First for the area of the pile tip. Be careful that. The area of the pile tip is including the part of the soil plug. Which is because when we construct open-ended piles, the internal soil may mobilize enough internal shaft resistance to prevent new soil from entering the pile. Therefore we need to add the area of the soil plug when designing the point bearing capacity for the open-ended pile and stell H pile for the unit point resistance of pile point. Similar to the Meyerhoff method for estimating the ultimate bearing capacity for shallow foundations. For the pile foundation which also has the part of cohesion, the effective stress, and the unit weight of the soil. However the width is too small for the typical pile, therefore the last part can be dropped. By doing so we can get the final formula of the point bearing of piles. In this formula, C dash is the cohesion of the soil. Q dash is the effective vertical stress. And the NC and NQ are the bearing capacity factors for the piles. Therefore for the pile in sand, the cohesion is zero. We have only need to calculate the part of this. The variation of NQ with the soil friction angle is shown at this table. By multiple them, we can get the load carrying capacity of pile. However, the value of it should not exceed the limiting point resistance, QI, which is equal to the half of the atmospheric pressure, times, NQ and, tangent of the soil friction angle. For the pile in saturated clay under undrained conditions, the value of NQ can also be negligible, since the friction angle is very small. According to this table, we can get the value of NC factor is equal to 9. Therefore we can finally get this formula. Here is the conclusion for this video. That's all for today. See you in the next video.